Welcome to this episode of Kennedy Saves the World. It's the happiest happy hour we've ever had because my friend Sean Duffy is here. You know Sean. He's a retired congressman from the great state of Wisconsin. He's also the host of The Big Money Show on Fox Business. No, I hope, but I'm not. <laughs> the Big Money Show. <laughs> What are you talking about? I'm the bottom line, sister. I know. Last week uh, on Happy Hour, I had Brenberg. Yeah. And I was like, and he hosts the bottom line. He's like, yes, my name's Sean, and I have a bunch of kids, and I'm a lumberjack. And I was like, I get the names of your shows confused. So I had I had to do that. Do you go on, you don't go on, you, do you go on the money show? Sure, I'll, I'll do anything. No, but you haven't been. Have you? I've been on, yeah, many no, times. No, you come on the bottom line. Like, I love the bottom ours. line. I'm never going on the Big Money Show again. again. I don't even All know that line. show. Thank it's you. done. They're dead to you. Uh, so this is uh, homemade Bailey's. You can give it a sniff. It smells really good. There's like a little fuzz, fizz that just happened there. No, that's uh, that's just the... Here, hold on. We we got to give it a, a little bit of a stir. Oh, stir it up. Mm -hmm. I love that. A little bit of a stir. And you're no stranger to dairy. There are two types of milk in this homemade Bailey's. Uh, it is... Sweet and condensed milk, which I'm a fan of. There's the whipped cream. And just you plop right in there. Yeah, it's like just plops. right in there. Thank you, America. It's, it's not very graceful, but mm -mm. it works. I don't need grace. Nope. Here's Cheers. to you, Kennedy. To happy hour. To saving America. And the Rangers. <laughs> Let's go, Rangers! So can I tell you my Ranger story? Please. Mm. Oh, that's really good. Yeah, right? Okay, so my, my nephew plays pro hockey. Mm -hmm. He went, uh, I think he in Colorado? In, uh, he was in Colorado for seven years. Okay. And he was traded to Buffalo. Right? Oh, okay. So this year he's playing in Buffalo. So the Sabers. I, I go. That's right. So I, I, my, he's going to come down and play the Rangers, mm -hmm. and I go to Madison Square Garden to watch this game. Mm -hmm. And I, I don't really follow the Rangers. Don't love the Rangers. I went to the game, and I'm like, okay. Now you get it. I get it. Yeah. The Ranger fans are awesome. Yeah. I couldn't help but like, oh, these. This is a pretty cool team and it, it's not new york like new york yeah. seems to be so like beta male and so liberal not there no it was like raucous fun absolutely really right. cool people people stand for the national anthem yes which in i new really york. appreciate i cannot stand when people chat and sit down for the national anthem I'm it's like what, get out of here colin kaepernick i couldn't help but love the rangers yeah it's and really fun when they score oh yeah, yeah, yeah. They're, yeah. And, well, they didn't score as much. As I sound the, like I sound like a a caveman. You do, but but so does the whole stadium when they score. Which is maybe why I like it so much. Which is very cool. Mm -hmm. So um, I'm kind of a partial Rangers fan now. Oh, that's I really, fantastic! I really kind of love well, them. Well, cheers and welcome yes. to it to the, the to, to the New York to, Rangers to the Rangers and there. to hockey in general. Mm. The last like pro uh, pro sport that's that great. still loves America and the national anthem. Absolutely, they haven't gone well. And, and by I'm the like, way, God hockey players, them. as you know. Pretty cool people. Really in down to earth, good, good super good down human to earth, beings. like not full of themselves. I like this Joe Burrow. You can sit and have a beer with them. Yeah. And they'll flick their teeth out <laughs> and sit there with you know just gums. Yeah. It's awesome. Start the real fighting people. each other. <laughs> then they hug. Yeah. All right, all right, come in here. <laughs> no, good people though. So anyway, I'm, I'm kinda like the Rangers. So good on you. Oh, nicely done. Thank you. So it is the holiday season. I'm yes. I'm doing a lot of uh homemade treats, as yeah, as the, the people tasty. here know. And I, I love to bake. I love to you do? make uh, non-alcohol cocktails. Wink! <laughs> no, it is not non-alcoholic. <laughs> really is. Not a drop uh, of Jameson in it. None. Nothing. Um, so what kind of, with nine kids, you must have some incredible family traditions that you've cultivated over the years for Christmas. Well, first, let me tell you, I, I'm not a baker. Mm -hmm. uh, Rachel's not a baker either, but she's a great cook. I'm sure some of your kids have to bake. But some of my, my older kids do bake. For and sure. here's the problem. They make good stuff, but they make a huge mess. They don't pick it up. So baking Is that takes, a generational thing? I don't know, but it's a problem because yes. they, they bake and they love baking. And then you have like chocolate and mixers and pans. No. And they walk out of the kitchen and we're like, hello. Yeah. Are we supposed to pick this? So sometimes we don't like them to cook or bake because- we get stuck with a mess. Um, and if stuff is sitting there for a while, it gets corroded it gets inside. Hard, it, yes. It hardens. It right? hardens mm -hmm. inside like the KitchenAid mixer bowl. Right. So if you if you wipe it, if you wash it right away, it's really it's fine. It wipes right off. I am a clean as you go baker. Like yeah, I not only clean as I go, I put stuff away as I go. That's so when I'm done with something like baking soda goes back in the fridge. That's because. And yes, I do bake with my baking soda from the fridge. I have a New York apartment. Stop it. As you were. I don't get that. But yeah. anyway, um, 
That's because you pick up after yourself. Yeah. If you had some other little troll that did it for you, you'd be like, I'm just going to sit here. Yeah. But because you know it hardens if you let it sit, you do it right away. Mm-hmm. My kids don't. So now listen. So we usually cut down a Christmas tree. Mm-hmm. Um, That's like awesome. Really go out and cut it down. This year we did not. Cause... So you are back and forth between Wisconsin and New Jersey. So no. So I. So two years. Two years. So Rachel got the job on Fox and Friends. Yeah. Uh, I was in Congress for nine years. I was. Just, I was gone too much. Yeah. Uh, when she got this job, I was like, you know what? I love. We can't it. be a commuter family. We can't. Yeah. I love. Listen. I love Wisconsin. It is my home. Amen. It's a place and the people that I love. But I'm like, I want to be with our family. So mm-hmm. we for a place in New Jersey and I moved them all out and I still have my cabin back in Wisconsin. That's cool. This small little uh, town where I've, I have uh, 10 siblings. Most of them still live in this little small town. No so wonder you have, you probably have a nephew in every professional sport. Just about, uh, almost. I know, got, probably got three MLB players in there. <laughs> Who knows their names? I only wish. 10 siblings. So we, I go back, you know, I have my cabin there and sit and, you know, hang out in the summer on a lake, the little yeah. lake I grew up on. There's nothing kids, like lake living, especially in the Midwest. So I'm telling you what, the kids fish, swim, paddleboard, ski, surf. You have a wake boat, too. All, I do have a wake boat. Mm-hmm. It's like all of the above. And by the way, I'm not one of those bad wake boat guys. Like, you know, the, if you have a small bay and the wake boat goes right by the front of your house yeah. and like the waves come crashing. Like, yes. I don't do that. I yeah. hate those guys. I go to the middle of the lake. You're like, you're not going to you. hit, hit my waves. Um, but you know what? They get off their phones. Right? They, they, they put their phones down. And they go and I mean, that enjoy what is we the used to do fight back in the parents. 80s. Remember? Yes. In the 80s, we did real shit. We would sit Can around. Yeah, of course. We would sit around, like, my friends and I waiting for boys to call. Just waiting. Because they couldn't text. <laughs> this is right. Yeah. And if you miss a call, it's like, well, you wouldn't have a date for a year. Right. So sit by the phone. <laughs> I spent a lot of time without dates. It's like, hello. Are you going <laughs> to call? But campfires. Yes. The whole thing. Playing S'mores. Music. S'mores. S'mores. Yeah. S'mores are the best invention in all of summer living. So we've got, is it, what are the little, the, the, the toll, uh, the Keebler toll house, house cookies, mm-hmm. with the chocolate on them, the stripes. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Those and marshmallows. So you don't get the, the graham cracker. Oh, that's really smart. So we've kind of, we've kind of modified it. You have to. And. You have the two cookies, and you That's get really the, smart. And the you still have the marshmallows, so you have all the tastes. Just all of it, but it, but one fewer item to buy. That's right. One, yeah, so but, still, smart. It's still, it's, but it's still more expensive, I think. But it's easier and less of a mess. What do you do for gifts for, for nine kids? I don't. Do you do? Do you do like Secret Santa? I mean, well, with, Santa with does, ten Santa siblings does all the work. and all their kids. Oh, for my back at home. Yeah. My, no. Uh, no, nothing. Like, we're not, I don't, how like, could you possibly? I mean, no, so my, why can't we internalize that? In families with slightly fewer children, so because that's a great plan. So here's my deal: I, when I first got married and I had a couple of kids, I would go home for for Christmas with to my to my parents' house, mm-hmm. or I went to Rachel's parents' house. But after like kid three, it was so complicated oh, yeah. to actually travel and go. And finally, I'm like, listen, anyone once anyone, you're outnumbered, you want to come and see me? That's great. Yeah, but I can't travel anymore. And so we've just set our own traditions at our house, where um, and it's been really good. Like I'd, I'd love to go home on occasion, but um, like this year, I'm going to go home. My dad turns 90. I'm going to go home him. the day before. Yep. He's going to have a big party. Uh, and also, I'll see all my siblings there. But it's too hard to travel. And then if you, like, you do Christmas morning at your house and try to travel to your parents' yeah. house, it's, it's just... It's too it's, much stress. It, it, it kind of ruins the vibe of Christmas. Absolutely. You want to you wanna, you like wake up, open presents, play with presents, play with your kids' toys, mm-hmm. and then veg out, eat some cookies. Amen. Have some pie. Mm. Sleep. I make my mom's souffle. My mom has an egg and cheese souffle recipe. And I I say souffle very loosely because it's like um, spreadable cheese that you mix with butter. And Mm -hmm. then you put it on bread. You cut the crusts off. You layer it in a pan. And then you sprinkle cheese every layer. And you can you can do like uh, little chilies in there if you want. Oh, yeah. And then you pour eggs and milk on top and let it sit overnight in the fridge. And then bake it in the morning. It is so delicious. And you only have it on Christmas Day. You so only easy. have it on Christmas. And then I make homemade cinnamon rolls. It's like that with the souffle. Homemade cinnamon, yes, cinnamon rolls? Yes, it's the one day I make homemade cinnamon rolls. And it's worth it. And it's low fat. And I love that about Christmas. It's so <laughs> low fat. <laughs> so yeah. Low fat, no carb, all keto. See, what I love is, so right after Thanksgiving, we, we play Christmas music nonstop. Mm, and it. so we go to bed, Christmas music plays. So you yeah. wake up, Christmas music is going. Um, we just have an old school playlist that kind of, we know all the songs that are Okay. So, and... so this, this is what I go back and forth with because Tell I me. love the old school Brenda Lee, Bing Crosby, Nat King Cole Christmas songs. Elvis. Yes. Blue Christmas. Like yes. I, it lives in my heart. So I love all those, 
But I've, because of my girls, have gotten into Christmas pop. And it's like, who has Christmas good pop. new Christmas songs? Ariana Grande has a good song. Kelly Clarkson always has good Christmas music. Carrie Underwood. Really? Yes. And See, But I then, you there. know what I just discovered, which is really amazing? The Cocktail Jazz Christmas Playlist on Spotify. Okay, what, what, the, the Cocktail Christmas Jazz? Yes. Okay, I'll and check it's, it out. It's great because it's like really beautiful jazz music. It's all instrumental, but it's like Christmas songs you love. So if you want, you can sing along, but you don't have to. It's great cooking, preparing food music. But the thing is, if you have a long, big, cool playlist, it just it can play for like hours. Mm -hmm. like maybe repeats like one time a yeah. day, which is awesome. We do. I have a little Mariah Carey. We, so Mariah Carey. Harry Belafonte, yeah. total lib, but some great Christmas music. <laughs> God rest his so, soul. Yeah. We, he's awesome. Andy Williams. Um, Love Andy Williams. Uh, who's Man in Black? Uh, Johnny Cash. Johnny Cash. Nick Gillespie. The, the best little drummer boy, Johnny Cash, is awesome. Yeah. Anyway. Um, but that, See, so I, I love Celine Dion, Oh Holy Night. Beautiful. Guy Benson and I, we bonded over that probably 10 years ago. Really? We're like, what's the best Christmas song? And Guy's like, I think it's Celine Dion, Oh Holy Night. I said, you are absolutely right. And now I play it and I tear up and I think of Guy and now Guy has a baby. Did you oh, give good, Guy good. Benson any advice? I did not. He never asked. He should have. Well, Had he I asked? Mean, I didn't want to just offer it and like, you know, not, not have it wanted. I have you to tell you. Me. So when I was pregnant with my first daughter, um, this is such a funny story. I was in a philosophy oh, class. This is really good. I keep bringing this. Yeah, you should. That's what it's I for. Keep, I keep bringing Spread the cheer. Um, I was in a philosophy class with 200 students, an ancient Greek philosophy class in one of those big auditoriums at UCLA. And for some reason, and sometimes I'm impulsive and I ask things and I well, say wait, things that I, that I wish I could pull back. <laughs> so my professor walks out. And as he walked by, I was about two and a half months pregnant. I hadn't really started telling people, but I said, do you know where I can have a home birth? <laughs> <laughs> and he goes, excuse me. And then I was like, oh my God, he's going to kick me out of his class. He thinks I'm crazy. And I said, I'm looking for a midwife. I would like to have a home birth. And he said, yes, my wife and I have three of our children at home. Let me take your email and I'll give it to my wife and she'll email you. And she did. And we became super good friends. They had six kids at the time. They went on to have one more, but she gave me the most incredible advice about, you know, birthing and, you know, labor and the whole thing, but also what not to get when you have a baby. She's like, people get too much stuff. Stupid, stupid, useless stuff. And so it's like, I almost never get people baby presents because they already have too much crap. So the baby genie, you know what the baby genie is? Yeah. So this is this little device that you put the diaper in and mm -hmm. you and twist it, goes, it and then it goes... The dumbest thing ever. So stupid. Never used it. And then Never. you forget and there's a diaper in there for months. So and you're like, what is that smell? When I lived in a real state like Wisconsin, you'd shop at the store and you get the little plastic bags, mm -hmm. right? We just hate the little plastic bag that you shop with, put the diaper in, tie it up. You don't smell it. Yeah. Throw it out. They don't have plastic bags in New Jersey. They don't, oh, gosh, no, it, it has to be. Yeah, it's horrible. Paper bags. Yeah, no, they're in paper bags. You or have, you have you to. You have to buy the, you have to have a, the reusable you have bags. To you go have to on the black pressure. market on Silk Road so, and then find No, I have to go bags. buy bags now, to, little, they can put the yeah. diapers in. Uh, but there's so, yeah, there's so many stupid baby gifts. But if guy wants to call me. Yeah, he should. I, I'm, I'm open. I mean, that's, that's the person you call. You call the person with nine kids. To Talk go, about do having I do a this few cracks at the bat. That's right. By the way, we Rachel never had a home birth. Really? Um, no. Oh, I just assumed. But. Because mathematically, the odds are in your favor. Well, she's had some without any medicine, which she didn't. Oh, that's natural. I had. I had that. Both she's, my girls. She's had it twice. And do you know whose fault it was that she did not have an did epidural? Did not go <laughs> to the hospital in time? We're like, honey, let's just was, wait. No, I know the, it's going to be several more hours. No. The, well, there was like, I'm. We went, to the, we, went, we went in and they checked her and they're like, you're not having the baby, but you can just hang out here for a little while longer. And then she's like five minutes later, she's like, I'm having the baby. I'm like, they just checked you. you yeah. They said you're fine. I'm having the baby. I'm like, yeah. they said you're fine. Go, go, get the, go get the doctor. Go get yeah. the nurse. I'm like, I think we're okay. Well, anyway, when I went and got them a half an hour later, she was like at nine or oh, 10. Oh, yeah. Yeah, too late. Like 30 minutes she went yep. from from zero to 60. Oh. Uh, and the, the doctor walked in the room as the baby was coming. No oh, my gosh. Not happy. No, and that's like what happens on sitcoms and yeah. in movies with, in with everyone's first child. Do you know what we did at the end? We scheduled. Oh, that's smart. A C-section? Yeah. No, no. No. Uh, no the, the, Pitocin? Yes. Yeah. Pitocin. I, it was easy. I tell first-time moms to stay away from that because that just prolongs your labor. And it, it exhausts you. And, and people have a much higher 
chance of having a C-section. But the, the, maybe the, but the, the first one was, out of all of ours, the first one took the longest. Of course. And Your body's after, like, what the hell am I And then doing? after that, it was like... We know what we're doing. Giddy up. Here we go. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're boiling towels. Talk, you've got gloves. And I talk about it as if I did it. I'm like, yes, I. <laughs> that's what we did. Stolen <laughs> it valor. Came out, it came out really fast the second time. We were good at it. <laughs> She's like, oh. Anyway. Uh, but I could give guys some good advice. By the way, uh, Enya's O Come, O Come, Emmanuel. Mm -hmm. is amazing. If you haven't listened to it, we, we do a little prayer time at night with our kids. That's nice. And we play O Come, O Come, Emmanuel by yeah. Enya. Mm -hmm. And it's really like, ooh, it's good. Beautiful. No, I love it. I'm definitely going to add that to the list. Add it to the list. You'll, you'll love, love it. it. No, so, I'm I'm a huge fan. So d d d d in your family, do you open your Christmas presents uh, at night or in the morning? If my daughters had their way, we would open them today. Right. But they yeah. don't. No. Mom's in charge. Yeah. So I give them one present on Christmas Eve because they just needle and needle and needle. I'm like, fine. So they, Shut up. They, they wear me down <laughs> and we open one. And then, uh, and it's it's very funny having teenagers because they like to sleep now whereas before you know it's like when they're little you pray you know it's like please sleep until it's light out <laughs> i need sleep so badly uh but now it's like two in the afternoon i'm like i would love to start making brunch <laughs> <laughs> are they gonna get up yeah. so so what are the, the we'll exchange some gifts with um some of my siblings and so there's some gifts come in for the kids from my brothers and uh and sisters and so We'll let them open those gifts on Christmas night, but That's on nice. Christmas morning, so they get something. And by the way, yeah. they needle till no one. They want to. They would like to open those right now. Yeah. But when Santa comes, we open them on Christmas on Christmas That's morning. That's a beautiful way of doing it. And we uh, usually you get up. They, they're up at like five thirty, six o'clock in the morning, and you're yeah. exhausted because you went to bed late the night before. Mm -hmm. um, and but now we just we've been like, no, nope, sorry, we're sleeping until seven thirty. Good for you. And we, after nine kids, you lay down the law. You're like, no, no, this is like how I'm it's going to work. And, but so, but the Christmas tree is downstairs. And so we make them stay upstairs. They can't go downstairs to the Christmas tree until we wake up. So they can sit and see it, mm -hmm. but they got to sit at the top of the stairs and look down at it and yearn for it, but they can't go. Do you ever forget down. their names? I mess up their names all the time. I call yeah. them the wrong names all the time. I do that with, I've got two. Like, I don't know how you do it with You call them the dog's names or not? Yeah, I'd, I'd, I'd need name tags. <laughs> I really would. Sometimes, like, you, you, with the brown hair. <laughs> sometimes when I travel, I could just, I, this, the, I, some of the kids have given me a hard time for this, but I'm like, I, I'm not going to try to see if I have you. I'm just going to count. I'm going to count and go, do I have all the other I got the Like, right home number. alone, is that? They should have counted. Is that feasible? <laughs> exactly. Like, could that happen? Could we, home alone happen? I don't think so. Yeah. No. Because I count. Yeah. Not in this family. Maybe if I was the only parent, maybe, but with Rachel there, no, she's, she makes sure we get yeah, them all. You're both she's counters. You're both accountable to each other. But we have left kids behind at, we've been at a certain event and we've left and we're like, uh, I think we're missing one. We got to go back and get them. Oh no. So we didn't go to Europe. We didn't go to Europe <laughs> and, and leave our son at home, but we have for, forgot them. We lost one in Disney once. Oh, that's, uh, that's like my nightmare. And they say it's the safest place on earth, but I, all of a sudden when you lose a child in Disney, you start looking around and go, there's a lot of creepy yeah. people here. Which way do I go? It's, it's the adults dressed in Disney gear with no children. Those, it's freaky. Yeah. The Disney adults, I know you're not supposed like, to, you're not supposed to but culturally you penalize them, but come but you on, do. man. But then I was like, so you see these people and. Anyone could take your child and walk out of Disney and, and, and the, the, your kid might, doesn't know. Yeah. And they're like, don't worry. It's the safest place. We're going to find your kid. And we're like, bull. We're like, we're going to yeah. lose this child. Yes. Well, they they found her child and they gave her the fast pass for the rest of the. <laughs> and up, they better have pretty given well. the whole pass, family a fast but pass. But scared the hell out of us. Oh, I mean, um, I had that happen in Central Park when my daughter was worse. seven. She just wandered off. We were, we were all sitting there, a couple families, like a couple blankets. And Sheep's Meadow just kind of hanging out. And then all of a sudden it's like, where's Lotus? And then, and, and she's the quiet one. So it's like, you know, she's like the silent ninja. And so she's just, she's gone. And I'm like, the panic sets in. Like, what direction do we go in? So we had enough adults there that we all went east, west, north, south. Like everyone just ran in opposite directions looking for her. And found her. she was a ways away. And so she thought she recognized the blanket. I'm like, don't ever do that again. And she did it again at the beach. She just like at a birthday party, just way up the beach, half mile up the beach. And other moms like, ah, we didn't even see her leave. There, yeah, because you didn't, you're so. knee deep in sangria. There is nothing that'll frighten you more. 
I, I, when I, you lose a child, the, the, the panic that I, don't, I haven't experienced that uh, panic ever before. And I can't, that's why if people who've lost their child um, and really yes. lose them, I just, I can't imagine what no. they go through because when you have lost one and you get them back, the, the fear is, is, uh, is, is crazy. So Central Park, worse than Disney. <laughs> oh yeah. I mean, yeah. because there really the are beach, like predators, worse, freaks, right. yes. raccoons. Or the beach. It's like someone's going to take your kid and walk off the beach. Like you're never going to see them again. Yeah. Disney, you're like, yeah, I got video cameras around. I'm like, yeah. I'm gonna, cast we're members. See who took the yeah, cast members? Yeah, cast members with secret guns. <laughs> yeah, and, and secret fetishes. You never know. What's oh, just, <laughs> <laughs> you know, you Donald know what... Duck doesn't wear pants. Exactly. It's a little weird. It is a little weird. Frankly, he's hanging with my kids. Yeah, I, I don't know that I like that. Do you feel like an East Coaster now? No, I do not. I'm I'm Wisconsin through and through. But I got here's my deal though. I I've, I've come to New Jersey. We've been here for like uh, a little over two years. And the, the the expectation was really low, right? I, I mean, I, you think of Newark, you think of mean people, yeah. you think of bad government. Uh, and uh, this, it is, New Jersey is beautiful. Yes. Now you know why it's called the Garden State. No, like, if you get outside of the New York part of New Jersey, oh, the New York City part, it's stunning. The streams and the yes. hills and the farms. The lakes. It's gorgeous. Um, so that's beautiful. Uh, people have been pretty nice. Excellent. Um the taxes are way too much. Ugh, the, the property taxes. The roads are horrible. I'm like, what do you use these tax dollars for? Yeah. I mean, what are you doing That's with the Cardi money? Cardi B was like, once Cardi B yeah, started exactly. making money and they started taking all our money and she's, she's like, looking around going, there's still potholes. Like where, you're taking my money. Where is it going? She, at least I get a picture of the little kid I gave money to. Was, 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 was she making, say, I give money <laughs> yeah. to save a kid in, in Africa. They give me a picture of the kid. Yes. What, what are you doing with my money? <laughs> what are you doing with my brilliant. money? But it's true. So I, but so the bar was really low. The, the New Jersey's, you know, uh, they've I, they're 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 higher than the bar that I set for them. So, but still, I'm a Wisconsin guy through and through, and I yeah. I love going back to Wisconsin. And uh, I don't think you find nicer people. Um, maybe Minnesota, outside of Minneapolis, St. Paul, really nice people. I mean, in Minnesota, Brian Brenberg and Pete Hegseth are two of the nicest people. They, they're, like they it's are weird nice. that they're from the same town. It's weird. It's weird. They're like best friends growing up. Yeah. One to Princeton, one to Harvard. What's yeah. wrong with what was Seriously. that water? And they're like all handsome. All handsome and buff, mm. and now they're at Fox, yeah, and Fox Business and Fox News. Yeah, like, what's, what's going, going on? on with those two? Yeah, I think we Conspiracy. need an investigation. We need the House need Oversight look, Committee to look, look into, into this. Something <laughs> happened with Bremberg and Hexat. <laughs> no doubt, they're plants. I guarantee you, uh, if they applied to Harvard and Princeton today, they wouldn't get in. <laughs> Not a chance in hell. Lucky they grew no up when they did. No way. There's absolutely they get, they, no way. They got some problems. I don't care what their grades are. <laughs> White boys um, don't get any more. Yeah, good Good luck to you. Yeah, good luck um, with that. Well, have a beautiful Christmas. Uh, your family is absolutely lovely. I got to meet a few of your children at the Christmas tree lighting. I'm sorry about and that. And they're, they're <laughs> gorgeous. They're, they're so lovely. And you can tell, like, you guys are, are such a beautiful, tight-knit clan. So. I appreciate that. And I hope you have a wonderful, beautiful Merry Christmas as Thank well. And by the way, I, I love your little studio here. This is amazing. And I love nice. that we have mocktails. <laughs> we, we have Mock mocktail happy there's hour. There's no drinking on the Not set even a little. of Kennedy. Because mm -mm. that would Never be, will be against the handbook. That would be. The handbook <laughs> violation. <laughs> <laughs> and really, uh, when we don't want to hear from you, HR. Uh, this has been Kennedy Saves the World, along with Sean Duffy. I'm Kennedy. Listen ad free with a Fox News Podcast Plus subscription on Apple Podcasts, and Amazon Prime members can listen to this show ad free on the Amazon Music app. Oh, go ahead and leave me a review while you're there. I'd love to hear what you have to say. You've been listening to Kennedy Saves the World on the Fox News Podcast Network. 